it's Miss Danielle with the Grimshaw Municipal Library and I'm here to show you what our feature creature for this month is. And again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, which is the MD135, for making um, our craft kits possible. So um, this month we are doing this guy. It is an emu and emus are pretty interesting animals. So in your kit this month, you're gonna find a brown piece of paper, an elastic band, kind of elastic cord, I guess. You're gonna find um, <laughs> a just black and white picture of an emu and a brown picture of an emu. And these are mirror imaged. And I'll show you why we mirror imaged them in a second. And then we have this fact sheet about an emu and um, there's some interesting things. Uh, emu's egg uh, weighs the same as if you had 12 chicken eggs, and it is the color of an avocado. And after the hen lays the egg, then the rooster, I'm assuming they're called roosters. I think so. Um, will sit on the egg for eight weeks. So that's a little bit different than a chicken as well. Um, emu's will eat um, grass, vegetation kind of stuff, but they will also eat meat because they are dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> they're <laughs> omnivores that look a little bit like dinosaurs. They, actually, yeah. some people have said that their legs look like reptiles. Yeah, I was just looking up emu's feet, and um, they look very similar to like raptor's feet and stuff. That makes so sense. pretty... Pretty neat. Um, emus uh, live in Australia and um, they are uh, over six feet tall. So that is taller than almost everyone in the library, but not everyone. Maybe you should come into the library and see who is <laughs> over six feet tall. See if there's anyone here that is the same size or the same height as an emu. I'll give you a hint. You're not looking for me. <laughs> or me. <laughs> okay, and so there's a lot of information here you can read about emus. They're really neat. Okay, so the reason we are having a mirror image is we're going to cut out this one and this one, and we're going to make a mask. And so emus have really crazy hair, um, or feathers, I guess. So you're going to take this and you're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna make a bunch of like little haircuts in here like this so it looks like a fringe a fringe is exactly the word that we need to be using okay so I cut I cut all my fringe on this piece of paper and then I cut it in half because we are going to glue the fringe on the back side of the colored emu mask mm -hmm. after you've cut out the whole shape and the eyeballs. The reason we need to cut it in half is because um, we have to angle it and stuff to make it fit well. You don't want to glue it down here or cover the eyes. Okay, so just like this. Although another fun fact about emus, they have two eyelids. Really? Yeah, one for, it's kind of like um, one for blinking and then one for removing dust. So yeah, so they have the up and down and also the sideways eyelids. Interesting. Okay, so then you glue it on like that and then you're just going to scrunch your fringe down because emus have, emus look like they have bed head or they look like they've been in someone's mouth. I was going to say, it looks like they have a lot of gel in their hair, and then they've just kind of scrunched it and forgot to comb it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to take our black and white one, and um, with this one, you're going to cut it out again, cut out the eyes. If you want to color this one, you can. Um, and you can color it any color you want. But emus are typically brownish, grayish, yep. sort of. So this is the mirror image, and the reason we did that is so that it lines up the crazy hair mm -hmm. and the eyes pretty good. And then you have a reversible mask. Yes, a reversible mask. Okay, 
So then you're just gonna put glue, do this real quick, glue all over this emu mask. And then kind of looks funny from the back side. <laughs> We're gonna line them up the best you can. My cuts aren't perfect, so they're not gonna line up absolutely perfect. And I'm going to push and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, almost stuck onto the table. <laughs> okay, there we go. So then um, either use a hole punch or a, uh, you can use a sharp pencil and just poke through his cheek. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna take your string that's stretchy and we're just gonna tie it through. Um, you'll have to adjust your string to whatever length your head is, but circumference, I guess is the right word, hey? Mm -hmm. Whatever circumference your head is. So we have, we're and plus the string is elastic, so that helps too. Yeah. Um, but we have put in enough just in case you have. Um, Bigger circumference than me. Yes. <laughs> Or smaller, and if it's smaller, smaller, then you yeah. just do a knot kind of thing. So um, what I would do is tie a knot on one side, string it through the other, and pull it over your head, and then tie your second knot right there, and <laughs> now and I'm an emu. That's fantastic. And then you could run around with this mask on and see how fast you can run, because emus, what did it say? You used 48 one. kilometers an hour. That's pretty fast. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, you're going to say something? Else? I was going to say that if somebody made an emu mask and then decided to wear it into the library, that would probably be one of the best things that could happen. It might even be prize worthy. <gasps> oh, what a good idea. So we hope to see your masks. Even if you don't want to come down to the library, you could post them. And we will see you next month. Bye.